so it's true. You are alive. I hadn't dared to hope. So, you left Zaykor? Have you stopped taking Elix too? I am trying, but it's difficult. You must have experienced the problems of Elix withdrawal yourself. I was unconscious during the worst of it. Your body was already drained of Elix when I awoke. There is more to the changes than just the physical. It is how your mind copes with the rejection of all that you have known, all that you have been in life. Tell me, what do you make of the world you have discovered since leaving Zaykor? That the free people are capable of resisting the Alps. We are told we are superior, but the Alps have failed to crush them or their spirit. That will change soon. The first Alexiter, Tarek, is assembling his troops before the gates of the Ice Palace. He will make his move and he will succeed in conquering the lands of the Free People. We have to stop him, or our people will perish. What are you doing here with the Separatists? I had no other choice. I tried to stop Tarek and Zaykor, but he realized my plans. He would have killed me if I had stayed. I hope that I can still make a difference from here. I can help to bring a halt to Tarek's plans. His blind obedience of the hybrid endangers all our people. What is it he's doing that threatens the Alps? Why is Tarek such a danger? Tarek is a puppet. He has given his will to the hybrid. The hybrid and his new directive dominate our people. And soon, Tarek will dedicate all our people, the whole of the fighting strength of Zaykor, to an invasion of the lands of the free people. Oh, this death for one purpose. Greater power to the hybrid. I say we need to find another way, one that does not lead to our ruin. You serve the directive to obtain all Elix for the hybrid. What changed your mind? What happened to our search for knowledge? What happened about our evolution? What about researching the nature of Elix? All those were key to the Owl people, and all have been dominated by the hybrid's demand for Elix. A lot has changed at the Ice Palace since the coming of the hybrid, and the pace of that change is only accelerating. The hybrid tells us nothing of this future he sees. He is obsessed with his own evolution. And that is only attainable through the consumption of ever greater quantities of Elix. No owl, no free person will be allowed to stand in his way. I still believe in serving the Albs of Zaykor. But to achieve that, I now know that the hybrid must be removed from the Ice Palace. If the hybrid's evolution is not yet complete, should we ensure he reaches his final form? With all the sacrifices we've made, with all the blood he once spilled, has he told us what he will achieve if he attains that? How do we know what he will become? No, my loyalty ended on the day of your execution. I will not sacrifice my son for the ideals of that machine. Then we should ask the hybrid what he will become. We should know what we are choosing between. Do you think the hybrid will talk to us? To him, we have no more free will than the mutants he commands. You know the price that an owl pays to reach the highest ranks in Zaykor.
You obey your orders. Those are the marks of a true Alb. I have watched you and your brother and the honor you have brought to your father. You will all have a part to play in the events that are to come. Are you ready to play that part, Kallax? Will you join those chosen to evolve? The hybrid's will is above all. I will serve the hybrid. And so it shall be. Open your mind to me, Kallax. <coughs> know my thoughts and serve the directive. You and your brother were the strongest warriors at the Ice Palace's command. Strong, intelligent, iron-willed. No one could equal you. And now look at you. Today, you are an outcast. I suspect that my failure in execution was planned by someone at the Ice Palace. I share those suspicions, but I have yet to find any proof. My raider being shot down? The Alps being nearby to carry out my execution. The chances of those things happening without being planned. But the questions are why and who. The only cause I can think of is your free will. All other Alps took the hybrid's favor as an honor. You questioned it. But who ordered your death? Who coordinated it? That, I don't know. What about Zardom? It's obvious he's planning something. Could his plans involve killing me? Now that he has left the Ice Palace, he would have no reason to do that. Zardon was always set on becoming first Alexator. If he thought you were an impediment to that, he would have no hesitation in having you killed. But now he's here, out of Zaycor, who knows what his plans are? I know Zardom wanted my raider shot down. Zardom knew I was flying to Adan, and he knew the purpose of my mission. Well... If that is true, I don't know how he knew that information. No, no. Zardom was already in exile when you received your orders from the hybrid. Then someone at the Ice Palace must have got that information to him. If Zardom is behind this, then he had help. But why would another owl communicate with an exile? What about my brother, Kallax? I don't believe that. I am sure if your brother is involved, it is only as an instrument. He must be being used by other people. He would only have carried out the execution if he had orders to do so. What about the hybrid? The hybrid needed you and your skills to achieve his aims. While your free will may have made you stand out, your will is nothing to the hybrids. You were under his control and offered no threat. Besides, if he wanted you dead, he could have had you shot without the need for this intricate plan. What about the first Alexander, Tarek? He has the power and the intellect to plan something like this. But he is no longer himself. These days he is merely a vassal to the hybrid. I don't think he possesses the ability to think as freely as this. I don't think he would do this without orders from the hybrid. So who do you think is behind this? I don't know. Even if there is someone behind this, I think you will learn his name on the day you stride up the great ramp to the Ice Palace. Where is Kallax now? Your brother knows you are still alive. He is looking for you. He wants to finish what he started and prove his loyalty. After all, technically, he failed in his mission to execute you. He will want to remedy that. That is why he is traveling alone. He is currently in the mountains of Abessa on the border of Zekor, awaiting information on your whereabouts. Have no doubt, he will strike as soon as he knows where you are. Not if I get to him first. I would rather you both join together. The death of either of you weakens us all. It is far too late for us to be reconciled. There must be a way to free him from the hybrid. 
He's a slave like Tarek. If you could free him from the hybrid's will, then you could both be reconciled. And if he comes for me in the meantime, I will fight him rather than die myself. If that is your fate. But you think clearly and independently now, Jax. You can decide your own destiny. Listen to your inner voice, my son. Know your strength.